So this is a message to all the young people out there, including me, uh, about Heshima to the elderly people. It doesn't matter what you've achieved. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what has happened to you. Tunafatu kuna Heshima to the elderly people uh, because even the blind people wow ana honor yeah healing power above the holy spirit name waka kuliko nare za stima vile ni nare so washa moto ndani ya moyo wangu vile ni nare yesu tuma moto yani nare the holy trinity is one in three people yani yani one in three people three people ah giza leo ina waka holy spirit send your holy spirit send your spirit <clears throat> Hello guys. Uh welcome to Manuscripts. My name is Manuscripts because God speaks. Manuscripts. Thank you for joining us in our in our, in our story today. Uh this is Story Nati where we get to tell stories about the Bible, stories zenye tumetida, stories zenye tumeti. Yeah, leo naikunywa kwa chupa. Eh, na stories zenye tumeti. So kama kawaida hakikisha tukianza wewe ni mtu uko mtifu, si ndio? So, story ya leo comes from the book of 1st Samuel chapter number 11. 1st Samuel chapter number 11 and uh, this is the story of King Saul. By this time hajakuwa king, bado hajafanywa king. So he still amekuwa anointed lakini bado hajafanywa king. Tuko sawa. So Israelites bado wamekuwa wanakuwa governed na the prophets, uh, prophet Samuel was the leader, but now they asked for a king. And so bef just before, actually this is just before King Saul was made and announced to be the king of Israel. One of the enemies were the Israelites, that is the Ammonites. And so their king, alikuwa naito King Nahash. King Nahash from Ammon, alikuja. And he came to attack one of the towns, the Israelites, your town in Jabesh Gilead. And so, amekuja, amekuja ku attack the people of Jabesh Gilead. And when he came to attack these people, our say, walikama kama mwambia, hey, cheki, uh, please don't kill us, don't do anything to us. Let's make peace. Sisi, we want peace. We just want peace. Yeah? We want peace. And uh, let's make a treaty. They told the king of, Na of Ammon, that is King Nahash, let's make a treaty. And so, uh, a treaty that is ensuring that tutakuwa na peace between each other will not attack you, you will not attack us, we will be together. Tutakuwa tume, tume collab ama we have come together. And so King Nahash, aka decide akambia wa say, okay, ni sawa kama mnataka treaty. It is okay, lakini let's do this. If we are to make a treaty with you guys, uh, we will need to do one thing. We need you guys to do one thing for us. We are going to gorge out the eye of each and every one of you. One eye, tutatua jicho moja. So all of you mtakuwa, mkona only one eye, mna ona na jicho moja peke yake. We are going to gorge out the eye of each and every one of you. Yeah, and just to send a disgrace to all the Israelites. Tuko sawa. So that is what we need you guys to do for us if we are going to make a treat. And so wakasema, okay, ni sawa, uh, hatuta kata, but before that, please give us seven days. And let us go to our people. Twende, we go talk to our people and see if we can get people to help us in this war. But if we don't, we will come and make that treaty with you. Now, waka agree. Waka pewa seven days. And so these people went, wakenda kwa kina ile place kwenye King Saul. Uh, the, the, that the other towns, wakenda to the other towns. Now, waka announce, waka wambia, hey, check it, this is what has happened to, me, to us. To me, we are going to be uh, destroyed. And our only option was to make a treaty with them. And if we are to make a treaty with them, they are going to gorge out one of our eyes. Each and every one of us to apoteza jicho moja. Ay, ay, what were your place waka skevo? Uh, Wakanza kulia water. All of them were mourning. And so Paula metoka kwenye metoka uh, shuguli zake mekuja. And so when he arrived, in fact, Paula alikuwa menda kulima. Alikuwa na lima kona zile, zile oxen, zile ngombe. The oxen that are used to farm. Two, two, two of them, so alikuwa na farm nazo. And so when Paul ametoka kufarm, amekuja nyumbani, anakuja naambiwa, anakuja napata watu wana moon. Eh, hey, anashanga, what's up, why are people mourning? And then anambiwa, akapatio the message, we, we are supposed jicho moja of each and every one of us itolewe. And so Paul, akasike vibaya sana, akawahurumia, akarudi kwa shamba kwenye alikuwa, akenda kachukua zile oxen zake mbili, akazikata into half, akazikata kata, 
akakuja kapeana those pieces to those messengers wenye walikuwa wamekuja ku, kuomba wasaidiwe akawapatia hizo na akasema these pieces these pieces zipeanwe to all these towns all these israelites town and give them this message the town wenye hawata agree to come and help us uh, join us in helping Jabesh Gilead fighting their enemies if any town if any man will not come this is how you guys will be cut off and you're going to be uh, destroyed hey so your message ikafikia watu na watu wakashtuka watu wakaona yenyewe Saul Saul amekasirika remember he has been anointed and he's already a leader uh, just almost to be announced the king eh hey, so watu wakaona yenyewe Saul amekasirika na hapa si pazuri and so they all came together na wale watu wakafurahia eh hey, now we have support and then wakarudi kwa wale the um, king of um, the king of Ammon king Nahash akarudi kwa king Nahash akamwambia king Nahash check king so tulikuwa tume agree you're going to take one eye of each and every one of us ndio we agree to your terms tufanye hii shughuli kesho we are going to come tomorrow mtufanyie whatever you want to do to us tomorrow morning wakasema ni sawa na wakaenda nyumbani So watu wakiwa melala King Saul akapanga masojas wake na akawa divide into groups everything evil that night kabla hiyo asubuhi ifike wamejisetu wamejiseti nini nini they attacked the Ammonites na waliwa attack unajua sasa wamelala waliwa attack they killed them they scattered them ile design bible inasema no two people were left next to each other as in watu wawili wako alive but you are wako wawili That is how scattered they were. Maybe ukipata unapata mtu mmoja pale, mmoja huko. That is how destroyed they were. And that happened uh, because King Saul, King Saul alimobilize was say. And then after that waka come, uh, actually this was also walikuwa pamoja also na Prophet Samuel. Prophet Samuel alikuwa pale. And so after hiyo kitu yote imesha happen hivyo. In fact, so uh, wase wakaanza kusema nani hao? Israelites wa gani hao walikuwa nasema King Saul should not become our king. Waletwe hapa wauliwe but King Saul akawaambia no we are not going to execute anyone today we are not going to do that today and so Samuel akaambia wase let's go to Gilgal see what let's go to Gilgal and make a solemn assembly and so watu wakaenda pale Gilgal they made us, uh, an assembly there they offered peace offerings to the Lord and King Saul was now announced as the king of Israel that is the point when Jesus alikuwa announced now this is the king of Israel and that is how god saved the israelites from the hands of king nahash of ammon <sighs> wow thank you so much guys my name is manuscripts because when god speaks manuscripts asante sana kwa kutujoin kwa story ya leo and uh, see you in the next story see you next week and in fact uh, we are going to be rebranding huh? we are going to be rebranding so I'm sure very soon either if not the coming video very soon if not the coming video the other one we are going to be rebranding and we are going to be doing things different uh, here and so watch out for that and thank you so much for watching uh, this video remember you can suggest a story down below utwambia story gani unataka kusikia hapa kwa story na tea and uh, yeah that's all from me uh, atios muchai chills tuonane kunywa kwa chupa ni ngumu na nikumbusha zile siku za nasari tukibeba na aka kulikuwa gani akachupa kalikuwa na kamba alafu kwa hapa hivi unatembea akachupa kachai hivi